For my job, I have to do it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You could have walked in here and been like, yo, I don't support Kanye West. I ain't fucking with it. No, but like, nobody would have. Yeah, no, but I at least want to like, I want to give it a fuck? shot. Because you know but it could have been but it, dope. But it wasn't. Why? Nothing on their nothing on their head. You're lying. Now you're nope. now you're lying. It's cat. I'm not you at so yo, now now yeah, I'm lying. Cat. Now I'm it's lying because I'm super cat. Now I'm that's lying super cat. Now I'm lying. That's not even objective. That is objectively incorrect. Trap Life Review, man. The crew is back without Nadesh because she's still, uh, I don't know. What's she doing, Eddie? You was with her in Vegas. How's she recovering? Man, man they had Nadesh moving different, dog. Her call time was earlier than the rest of us. They had Nadesh on CNN. She was moving, fam. Nadesh was outside with it, right? She was at, man, they try to, they try to get me to go to some party because they haven't had, I'm, I'm talking too much, but they done had a few. And they was trying to get me to go. I think they might have went to that Snoop Dre party. And they was trying to get me. I'm like, nah, man, I'm tired, man. We've been out here all day. Like, I'm cooked. But they was moving. Matter of fact, uh, we got a clip from the press conference. Nadeska and Usher live in Las Vegas. But how did you approach that then? Picking um, the right songs, the this, choreography, the perfect set for 13 minutes. Um, you know, there's been these fantasy lists that have been going out and people trying to figure out what song I'm going to perform first, middle, last, who's going to come on the stage with me. Yeah. What I did is I, I was very mindful of my past, celebrating my present, which is here in Las Vegas, and thinking about where we're headed in the future. Um, and that was really the, the idea. Uh, what songs do I feel people know me for? What songs have been a celebration um, of all of the journey of what life and love and emotion has been offered in my music, you know? Yeah, shout to Nadeska Dottie yeah. and the whole Apple Music family, radio <laughs> family, everybody, phenomenal work out at the uh, Super Bowl Las Vegas. Uh, we just got the numbers in. Uh, the most watched Super Bowl all time. Mm -hmm. Crushed the mm. numbers on uh, last year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think it's all attributed to Usher. Yep. The world tuned in to see one of the best halftime performances. But Eddie, do you agree? All right, so here, here's what happened, right? So I was there for people that, that don't know, if I didn't make that clear enough. So I go, this is my first ever Super Bowl. I go because we're doing a halftime. And I'm kind of just trying to figure out, like, because I'm so close to this. I love me some Usher. I'm trying to figure out how the world feels. Right. Usher gets ready to come out. And I'm like, I'm ready. And the little section I was in was cool because there was, you know, a few brothers and sisters in my section. And Usher starts going. We're singing along. We're dancing. There was a point. It's big, guys. It started raining Usher bucks. Uh, it, was, it was raining. This started coming down from the stadium. Jermaine Dupree comes out. Alicia Keys, came, well, at least she did her best. Nah, at least uh, it sounded great. She, it, was a, hey, it was bumpy on the intro. It was bumpy yeah, on the intro. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. It was a great time. So I'm sitting here. I'm blown away. And I don't know if it's because it's my first Super Bowl or what the deal is. And I'm yeah. looking around. So I, I immediately get on Twitter like, what's everybody else thinking? What's every Because for me, it felt like one of the best performances. Because the, the thing that I always think about with Usher is, He's a different kind of professional. It's not just that he can sing and he can dance and, you know, he, he is an entertainer's entertainer. And you yeah. see it on full display. And he said this in a press conference with Nadeska. Shout out to our girl Nadeska yet again. He said this is a, the, the crescendo of his career. Love that. Because it's, it's not the culmination. Like, Usher, Usher just released a brand new album, so I couldn't figure out what to, what to, what to call it. But it's a celebration of a momentous 30-year career. And we all got to collectively look. Because that's what we, from the tiny desk to the Las Vegas residency, we've been looking at Usher like, I, there was a point in time on Rap Life Review when this started earlier, I was like, Usher out here on the, the Y'all Must Have Forgot Tour. Yeah. That's mm. what this whole two years has been. It's like, y'all forgot how good I am at this. And y'all forgot that there's no one else like me. His only comp at this point it's like somebody like Beyonce, and I know that's blasphemous, and I'm not saying no, that. No, I mean, that's only blasphemous in your world because you're you in the beehive. Yeah. But I like what you're saying. That's his only comp. And when you see the way he's singing, he's dancing, the wardrobe changes, uh, the, the strippers that weren't really strippers, him going under uh, Will I Am's legs, the, 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 the discography of hits that were on display, I was like, yeah. This is one of the best to ever do it. And as I got to remove myself from, from a few days, and I, I've still felt. Yeah, this is one of the better Super Bowl before. And honestly, bro, if we're just keeping it stacked, the last three in a row have been some hitters. Snoop, Dre and them, Rihanna and the Usher. Shout out to Rock Nation and everything yeah, we're doing. Yeah, over them doing their yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, and of course, Apple Music, baby. You <laughs> feel me?
Apple Music, Sound baby. Um, Lo, how'd you feel about it? Watch it. We we wasn't there, so we I, we watched I, on television. Like yeah, everybody like, else. I mean, I can't, I can't even. He took every word out, you know, my my head. It's just like the the, the records he played, the grace he gave us, the. The, the the calmness, the easiness, like it, it was just so natural to him. Right. On on a stage that's so huge. It was like another day to him. Well, I, I will say It was like I, another day, like I'm like, I got this. This is easy. I will say I, I was uh I was happy, thrilled, just like y'all. Mm -hmm. But the hundred and what is it? What do we what are they saying? hundred and twenty three million people tuned in. Yeah. Was watching the the game and all the everything to go along with it. I think this year was the perfect kind of mix of lifestyle, mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. and you do have to give credit to the whole Taylor Swift, you know, kind of movement that yeah, came that, through. That, that, that they up, only show they didn't really show her as much as I expected no, her to be shown. They, 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 they I think it somebody down. actually calculated it was like 59, 54 seconds. 54 seconds. Whatever yeah, it is, yeah. right? So they didn't spend a lot of time on that. Great look for Ice Spice hanging yeah. out in the box. Yep. Um, even yep. though there's definitely people hating on her because they don't know who she is and they like who the girl with the Ronald McDonald hair and yeah. all of that. And that, that was, no, you don't you jokes. Don't, you, know, you don't have to say that. That was. Um. You know. So, but hey, nonetheless, she you got, know what I mean. She got the look. You got the look. Back to the football aspect of it. Just me as a sports fan. I think there is something to not just Travis Kelsey dating Taylor Swift, but the Chiefs being this team that is, it's basically now the dynasty. Become, is, beca becoming a dynasty. Not a, no, listen, three, bro, three chips, four, four Super Bowl appearances. That, that I just wanted to bad. emphasize the fandom around the Chiefs, the Chiefs yeah. Mahomes, yeah. Travis Kelsey, Taylor, Taylor Swift, yeah, yeah. plus the Super Bowl, yeah. plus Usher at the halftime. There were so many it moving parts. It was the parts. perfect so, yeah, yes. yeah. storm, if it you was will. A, it, was, it was a pot of gumbo. And then you throw in Las Vegas. That's, Which that's, as the, Las Vegas is the backdrop is its own movie. Right, right. You have everyone and anyone. Now I'm gonna go back to Eddie, who was down there for the chaos. What was happening on the ground, bro? Like, what was the bro. city like? So there's probably no other city that's as equipped to handle something like the Super Bowl. Like, y'all live in New York. I live in LA. We see famous people all the time. It's not a big deal. Like, they can walk around New York. They're they're in restaurants in LA. I have never seen nothing like this in Vegas because there's also a different level of security to it. Like if you're super duper famous and you're walking through a casino, for the most part, people can't really, they can't really get wild with you in the casino. There's security, there's cameras everywhere. So everywhere you went, it was just celebrities left and right and walking around and parties. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm seeing like CD Lamb walking through, little mm. baby walking through. Um, I, I couldn't even, Candace Parker walked by, I couldn't even be, Hannibal Burris stopped Zane when I was walking with him, like, yo, I love your interviews, we couldn't even, t uh, uh, we went to the Wu-Tang Clan, um, the, the first ever hip-hop residency that they had. Yo, uh, that thing is going in Vegas right now? We, me and Zane went first day, first day, Woo! first hip-hop residency, yep, yep. Ghostface Killer walking through the hotel before it even starts, you're like, whoa. There's a, a thing circulating that Kanye West bought the booth below Taylor Swift's, Swift's booth in the stadium. And allegedly, Taylor Swift had Kanye removed. I'm calling bullshit. Because ain't no way Kanye West ain't jump on the IG Live with that. We heard this from, and look, I love Brandon Marshall, and maybe somebody told him, I don't know if he saw it firsthand. I'm calling bullshit, bro. Kanye ain't keeping that. With as much shit as Kanye West talked, we didn't hear that from him first? For for a lot of us in black America, Kanye West was our introduction to Taylor Swift. <laughs> and this this has been like a long standing, I don't want to call it beef, because it's not really a beef. And, but you we'll know, call it, we'll nah, call it a, 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 a um, discord. Yeah. There's been songs. Kim Kardashian has said some slick shit where she's got recorded. Kanye. This is a long standing thing. So if this were true, there ain't no way in hell. We wouldn't hurt Kanye. Call a cap on Brandon Marshall. Especially when he got a rollout cap. happening. As much as fucking... Well, and not only that, but even if Kanye didn't say it, wouldn't have somebody been there with a Some, camera like, Somebody. Yo, and Kanye bought a box, and they removed him from a box that he bought? Of all people. Nah, people, bro. Of that, all, of all that'd people. That would have been louder, bro. Of all people, Brandon Marshall's reporting this. That would have been louder, bro. Uh, louder. But, you know, hey... People going for clicks these days. Yeah. Um, 
Speaking of Kanye West, I don't really fuck with bro. I think he's a dickhead unnecessarily. I think he knows what he's doing is trolling. But not this I'm not, album no, got no, some no, fire I'm not, on it, I'm not doing this. Yo, I'm not doing this. 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 Now, I will say this. Go ahead. There's maybe one song on there that was hearing Kanye West rap. I was interested in what he had to say. And the song is, uh, it's like the second song. Keys to My Life was, I, I was listening like, ooh, and then the beat changes. You know, I'm going to tell you. The album itself, production-wise, and the way it's put together, really reminds me of more of a mixtape and almost like an underground beat tape, in a way, um, which I'm for, especially where Kanye is in his career. And I'm not comparing... And by the way, I had a super low expectations. Mm-hmm. I had no idea what to expect. Mm-hmm. And Kanye will never give us My Beautiful Dark Tips of Fantasy... You know, those feelings, again, that's Drop a that's a moment in history. So if you're looking for that, mm-hmm. go listen to that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm okay allowing an artist to create and evolve and try shit and all that. I'm going to like some. I'm not going to like others. It is what it is. This Vultures Part 1 definitely was pleasantly surprised. And I got to say, I liked one, two. Yo, I like the Northwest joint. I ain't going to hold you. Northwest got a joint on here, bro. I probably like half. So I like I like 50% of it. Respect. It has listenability that I will go back and listen to. Respectfully. Respectfully. I'm going to say shout out to Todd Allison. Glad he's getting that look. Glad he's getting that love. Shout out to my man. Yo, he body. Yo, Todd Allison is going crazy on him. But as speaking for myself and for that man, fuck him. No, I agree with that. I, I don't even, I don't Welcome. even, I don't even. So I'm not going to waste my time listening to something that I'm not going to. So you only, gonna, so you, gonna so let this, me get this right. I, I listen so to, you I, only I, like I, music I, I, from I listen, people listen, that listen, you actually listen, like as I humans. listen to it once of just being, trying to be objective. And I couldn't rock with it. And I'm not going back But to what it. they got to do with fuck them though? It's always going to be fuck them. Okay, but when we're when we're analyzing production I, as, no, and, as, and as songs for my job, I have to do it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You could have walked in here and been like, "Yo, I don't support Kanye West. I ain't fucking with it." No, but like, nobody would have. Yeah, no, but twice. I at least want to. Like, I want to give it a fuck. shot because you know but it, it could have been but it, dope. But it wasn't. Why? Nothing on there. Nothing on their head. You're lying. Now you're no, now you're lying. It's cat. I'm not. You at so yo, now now yeah, it's cat. Now it's lying because I agree with cat. Now I'm lying because I'm super cat. Now I'm lying. That's not even objective. That is objectively incorrect. Because I don't like it? No. Because nothing on there hit for me? You're lying. You're lying. Now I'm lying. This is but what I, I get. No, I get, no, 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 I get no, why no, you don't no, like no, it, though. No, Because no, you didn't like Drake's no. dance music, and there's a lot of up-tempo dance shit on here. And you don't really appreciate dance music. I'm right, but I appreciate shit. the effort. I appreciate the... But then, but then you need to go listen again, bro. No, I don't. Fuck it. I, I mean, tried you don't. It. I tried it once. You I don't. Like, and I like it. You don't. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, for people who understand music and get music, now you don't fuck with Now I understand music. This is what you I'm going to like, Now I understand music because I don't like it. You're going to fuck you with it. Because you like it because I don't like it. Now I understand music. No, you're going to fuck with this. If you get actually the get... fuck out of here. I mean, you're great at bars. You have Everybody's got their strengths. You're great at analyzing bars. Phenomenal. What? what? When it comes to music, eh, not so much. <laughs> this shit had no replay value. You... Not five so much. months, yo, five months down the road, we ain't gonna be talking about this shit. But I don't. That know could music. be. That could be. That could Fuck be. Va- that could be valid. What you're saying. Fuck out of that here. could be valid. Oh, what you're saying because it does. It definitely doesn't have. I don't believe a lot on here has mainstream. Not. Not even mainstream. Ma- it it has no mainstream. replay value. No, absolutely. You're gonna be hearing there's shit on here. You're gonna be hearing paid. Trust me. Where? You're, psh, Where? In mixes, in clubs, in places that play up tempo records. You're going to hear that shit. Trust me when I tell you. Yeah, bro, you DJs even, is fucking with that. You don't even go out. Who? You don't even go out like that. Who don't? You don't. Of course I do. Of course. You're going to be in a spot where they're going to be playing that record? I go to places that play that type of music. Absolutely. Five months. Oh, all right. So Absolutely. the next time you go out, I want to hear, hear your observation of if they're playing this album. Yo, and you know what else is crazy on that album while we're talking about it? What? That Freddie Gibbs. Yo, back to me. Freddie Gibbs, I don't know what you be doing in your private time on the internet that had their way with you, my brother. But listen, the way you showed up on this vultures, 
The way you showed up on this vultures, fam. Yo. Yo. Yo, we came in hot today. Yo. We came in hot right, man. today. Listen. I'll let y'all go. I let y'all care. was feeling it. I don't, I don't it. even care what people do in their private time as long as you ain't hurting nobody. Motherfucker showed up on that back to me. Listen, I'm not, I ain't mad at anybody that loves this album. I'm not anybody, I'm not mad at anybody Yo, that, back. that holds this album up. It's just, it ain't for me. That's cool. Uh, but, you're not, but you're not going to tell me I don't know music. I mean, listen, everybody got their strength. Because that Usher Carnival, album is crazy. Carnival is cu currently the number one song <laughs> on Apple Music, and that Usher album is crazy. That Usher album got fire on it. Now that, please that Usher you, got, yeah. I love you. What? Coming home. What else? Uh, Stone nah, Cold right Freak. Here. That shit with Bob. Stone Cold Freak. That shit Bob. with uh, Shout the Hit Boy in the Dream that did that. Yo, uh, that cold-blooded with, cold cold with the Dream. Cold-blooded with the Dream. What? Crazy. Now, I also like, uh, I like, uh, I love you, please you, and Lucky as yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Shout out to Usher, man. Great album. Magnolia? It's, what is it? Uh, yeah, Magnolia. Margiela? Margiela. Margiela, yeah. yeah, Margiela. He got joints on there. Yep. Um, also, speaking of pushing music in a, in a different direction, Beyonce. Ooh. Salute to Beyonce making history right now with these, with these Americana blues country, country sounds yeah. that she's putting out. You know, a lot of people are gonna call it country music, and it did top on the country charts because yeah. that was the one of the genres that it was in. But um, this is foundational Black American music that uh, that was lost, that was taken from Black folks, and Black folks was ex basically excluded from participating in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're exiled. Um, yeah, it was almost like not. Un let's call it not excluded. Let's call it unwelcomed. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah, call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. call it unwelcome, cause you could. Black people definitely still was making country music. Yeah. There's been tons of black artists. We got a lot of artists we support. Yeah. Shout out to Apple Music, Country, and the whole team. We support a lot of black country artists. Yeah. Um, but for Beyonce to show up, and I know there's shout out to K. Michelle who's been making country yep, records. Yep. Kanye had, uh, uh, not Kanye, but Beyonce had a country record on Lemonade. A lot of people forget about that. Mm -hmm. Um. She's from Houston, Texas, mm -hmm. where they still, black folks are still going to rodeos. Mm -hmm. Black folks are still riding, you know, horseback, yeah, cowboys, yeah. all of that shit. Um, black folks been a part of that, and I love that someone at this level, and maybe everybody doesn't view it this way, They maybe they think, oh, she's just trying to grab into a popular genre and all that, yeah. but or a popular, uh, a genre that's blossoming. Been pop, yeah, been, been but popular. she recorded, remember, this is part two. This was supposed to drop Closer to part one, which was Renaissance. So this, this was this supposed is, to this come is act out. Two. This is act two. This is act two, okay. officially. And they waited because Re Renaissance was doing so well. Right. And so they waited. I love the drop of it, right? The, the commercial, the Ver Verizon, yeah, Verizon commercial. Yep, yep. And then the ad went up. Like, we don't see Beyonce like that in a commercial, having fun. Uh, I watched that commercial, and I'm like, okay. Well, first I heard the rumor about Beyonce's dropping a, a Verizon ad announcing new music. So I'm like, all right, I don't Yo, know. I didn't even hear that. Yeah. I so missed that. I, I so I was, I was waiting for it. I heard it. Yeah, I was waiting for it. So I'm like, all right. So it, it happened after Usher's halftime shit. So I'm, we're in the spot and we watching. I'm like, yo, wait. And then it says, all right, drop the new music. Everybody turned like, yo, what the, f what the fuck she just say? New music. So then it hit Twitter. So then I could actually listen to it again and again. Sure enough. Right after that game, two joints. Then the announcement, March 29th. We all looking at each other like, ain't no fucking way after doing Renaissance, two world tours, the movie that she's back to work already. Country. Me and my homegirl was talking about this last night. She didn't did pop, she didn't did dance, she didn't did EDM, she didn't did R&B, she didn't did group, and now she's going to country? Yeah, man. What Fire, artist, bro. what artist Listen. is factory like that? Not nobody. What it's artist is done. built mentally? mentally? Bro, I, I called her a creative psychopath. It's one thing for Beyonce to say, all right, I'm going to drop a country album. Because like Lo, I kind of heard the rumors. Like I, we, we kind of had a, because like a lot of people in the Beehive, we've been trying to decipher what Beyonce's moves are going to be for a while. We still ain't got the visuals. We will somehow forgive you for that, Beyonce. We will forgive the you. The movie was so, enough. Yeah. So when we hear Beyonce about to be a country, do a country album, and let's not get it twisted. We can fall into the hype of Beyonce. She could drop something that's mid, and we might be like, ah, oh, it's Beyonce, I love him. We gonna lie to ourselves. But when I heard Texas hold him in 16 carriages, man, all I could think was yeehaw, motherfuckers. 
I guess we doing this. Like, where do Give I me the get cowboy, my cowboy hat. Boots? Let me throw on some Lee jeans let's, and some boots. You know how we do. You, you know how we me. do as black people. You, hey, look, bro. Your space is our space now. What's that spot? That, what's, the, what's the little thing that they do out here in the, in the whatever stagecoach? Look, man, if we show up to stagecoach, get over it because we showing out. This is Listen, ours now. Beyonce, they they, so for, if you don't know, they do basically a country music Coachella. After the Coachella? After Coachella for, what is that, two weeks. Like then there's another happened, like a few, two weeks and yeah. it's stagecoach is oh, what it's called. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I know That's that. That's a festival. Yeah, I know that. I know that. If Beyonce does that festival, that's like that's like Hove doing Glastonbury. Levels, bro. Listen, it's don't let we, don't we let are, Beyonce win Grammy of the Year for country yo, she album. Get album don't let her do that. Album. Oh, we man. showing up. Oh, we man. showing up to the CMAs. Oh, we gonna have overalls on. We driving pickup trucks because you know you, you thought Black Panther was bad. No, man, we about to get in our country oh, music. Man. And, I don't, and I don't know nothing about no country music, oh, but I know that shit. Beyonce is the but greatest. But now country. I'm invested. Listen, now Beyonce. I know, now I know listen, everything. Beyonce, drop Jolene. If we get a Beyonce Jolene, Jolene, <laughs> yeah, man, true, man, listen. I'm about to make a verse and play Yo, this. Yo, listen, I, I, just, I, country music. I just know the way Beyonce puts on for black music. Yeah. Um, it should be celebrated. I'm glad she did this during Black History Month. Yeah, yes. I'm glad it's forcing people to spotlight and go maybe look for other country artists like Mickey Guyton. Mm -hmm. uh, Shout out to Breland. Breland. Uh, Reba, Reba McIntyre is a country artist, right? Reba, yeah, Reba's country. Yeah, she, yeah, she yeah, I interviewed her. Yeah, she, I, I interviewed her at the Super Bowl. Yeah, cool she did a national anthem at the, the Super yeah, yeah, nah, it's, 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 a, it's a lot, man. Yeah, Yo, I'm, look, right on, on, on Apple Music right now, on the cover of Today's Country, Beyonce. They sick. She pissing them they off. They sick. Shout, shout out to Kelly Bannon. We love Kelly that. Bannon. Yo, Kelly Bannon's hype. Yo, Kelly, we're going to get you that Beyonce interview. Yo, we 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 making it happen. I want to, before we before we dip out, um, I know the Super Bowl is in New Orleans next year. And I want to yeah. please, 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 please make a heavy pitch. Pitch to have my man Lil Wayne on that stage. You better hit your man home. You got his number? That's your man. I, that's my guy. That's my yo, guy. Yo, you better hit Hove. I yo, we gotta Wayne gotta get his flowers just like Usher did. Yo, you know, uh, also, Wayne, Wayne, also Wayne, Wayne gotta Wayne gotta feel that love just like Usher did. Wayne gotta know that we still love and we still yeah, respect. For sure. Wayne gotta get that. Yo, just you like know what Usher it's gonna did. feel like if it's Wayne, Drake, and Nikki at the halftime? The uh, ad, first of all, the radio edit. Part is going. I mean, whoever gonna be on the edit button, I didn't, make sure I don't, the curses I, don't no, fly. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't need Drake and good. Good luck to you. I need, good luck. To I you. need little. Women. Well, you know he gonna bring them out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. of course. Yeah. Listen, guys. I, look, y'all getting y'all hopes up, man. The, the the NFL halftime show been real dark the last few years, and we're gonna keep try it to darker. Lean, they they might lean the other way. You know that girl Taylor Swift just got a Super Bowl ring. Roger Goodell was up there talking to her. Hey, man, we don't know nothing about nothing. Let's just be clear. The Apple Music name is on the halftime show. They don't. I found out Usher was performing minutes before we announced it because it leaked. I had no idea. And I had. I was on the radio that day. I was supposed to talk about it, and they wouldn't even tell me who it was. So let's be clear. We have no idea who's no, going to be in the That's why, man. It's all. No, no, no. It's yeah, Jay. It's listen, it listen. They about to bring that girl. They see what Hove, Taylor Swift doing in no, the Hove, NFL. Hove, Hove ain't putting her on that stage. Man, Hove's a capitalist. Don't, listen, don't do that during Black History Month. I think the next few years are New Orleans, and then it goes back to San, San Francisco. Francisco. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then in it LA. goes back to SoFi in LA. Yeah. I yeah. think those are the next three years. So I, I think New Orleans will be cultural leaning towards New Orleans, which still could be Beyonce, and Beyonce could still bring out Lil Wayne. Beyonce ain't doing it again. That'd be a third time. Why wouldn't she? She just, she's about to drop a country album. They ain't about to do her for three. Listen, no one loves Beyonce more than me. She ain't about, bro, like, she ain't about to do the, the for the third time. Well, no, I, I, listen, I, I, let's I, see. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. But I also want to shout out, speaking of country artists, this is Rap Life Review. We done went all over the place. This artist named Shabuzi I got a shout out to. Yeah. Um, There's other, uh, uh, I, I shout out Mickey Guy and I shout out K. Michelle. Yeah. Yep. H Half of Kane Brown. What's up, K man? Oh, Kane Brown. You. That's the homie. Yo, I think Kane Brown and uh um and uh uh and Mahomes is like boys. Oh, they are. They are. And before we wrap, um, I want to big up to Killer Mike, sweeping the Grammys. Uh, because of uh Super Bowl and everybody going to Vegas, we didn't have a rap life review last week. Killer Mike swept the rap category mm. as he should. Mm -hmm. It's it, there's obviously been a lot of blowback from. Fuck it. 
He deserved it. No, who might? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 1,000%. Oh, yeah. But there's been a blowback from people who think the great, who, A, don't understand what the Grammys is we, looking we for have when this they vote. We have this every year. Every year. Like, we have this but this is, one of those op- this is one of those things where we talk about the Grammys being frustrating and, and not getting it, but do we feel like they got it right this time? With this album, this project, it's not, what it's, the person it, means, the craftsmanship, literally everything about the album. There's always going to be a conversation around if they got it right according to what you like. Right? Like, if Travis won, those people think they got it right. If Drake, her loss won, those people think they got it right. Who got it right according to who? And there's a generational gap, too. Like, let's there's be no, clear. There's, like, no, there's no spectrum of, like, a fact of who got it right. I mean, that's true, but let's be clear. It's there's a generational gap. And we skew older. Like, it's just a fact. We skew older. We like, collectively, I, I believe I can speak for the rest of y'all, we like Killer Mike. I've said multiple times that was my favorite album of the year. So to me, to your lowest point, I feel like they got it right. But when Kai Kinect gets up there and says, you know, who's Killer Mike? And that's a whole different thing. But if you're his age, you probably feel like Travis Scott should have won. Did they get it right? To us, yeah. To a generation under us, maybe not. Yeah, I, I definitely, look, I think the thing that often gets overlooked when you're talking about an album and you're talking about Grammys is you're talking about everything from the music, the musicality of it, Mm -hmm. to the actual articulation of the idea Mm -hmm. that you're trying to convey, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not Not just the feeling, but the lyrics and the music and the thought, is it cohesive? The production, the all writing, it, all they, of it. the, and, the, and, and the mixing truth, and the if mastering. If you look at all the albums, not the popularity of the albums, but literally Killer Mike, the album Michael, which is about his life, mm-hmm. what did he stay on topic and create music that was stellar? Mm-hmm. It checks all the boxes. And I think that's good, even for people who are in their feelings because their favorite didn't win. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why this Grammys is special, mm-hmm. is because it's people who do this for a living mm-hmm. voting on other people who do this, mm-hmm. not just fans. Other things that won too, um, we should shout out to uh, Lil Durk and J. Cole. Had people haven't covered that, which is a phenomenal record, mm-hmm. which A, was on point as far as what they were talking about. Mm-hmm. And B was also a huge hit. Mm-hmm. Won a Grammy. Uh, you also, obviously, Victoria Monet, who yep. we've loved for Ooh. a long time. Best R&B she walked album. away with Best New Artist and Best R&B Album. Mm-hmm. SZA got Best R&B Song, mm-hmm. Best Progressive R&B Album. Mm-hmm. And Coco Jones also won Ooh. F- for Best R&B Performance. To me, they got it right. It's a lot of things done well this to year. To me, they got it right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the folks, man. And real quick, Killer Mike said, this is the first of three albums. It's going to be a trilogy. Yo, you know that? Your clip started going viral this week, too. You saw that? that? Which one? Which one? That that convo about that whole from from y'all at the Apple Music Radio Studios live in Las Vegas at Apple Music Halftime Super Bowl 58. Listen, Eddie. Halftime show. Listen, Eddie, I want to tell you, man, you killed that shit out there. Good job, man. Shout out to you and the Deska, Zane, the whole team. Killed that shit out there, man. You made us proud. Man, that means a lot to me, man. I appreciate you, brothers, man. It's like being part of the team, man. Love y'all. Love y'all for real. Here's actually Eddie and Killer Mike and the whole team chopping it up in Las Vegas with Killer Mike. One thing that I think the 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 Grammys reminded us uh, is that hip hop often has this generation gap. What's that like for you? Does it matter to you? Do you feel a need to connect to the younger generation? For me, I'm I'm gonna just say. Man, if you don't know who I am, that's fine. Because hip hop was my mother's first. My mother had me at 16. So Curtis Blow is her artist. Houdini mm. is her artist. Run DMC was my artist. NWA, Public Enemy my So me and my mother had a relationship through rap. But you know, her rap wore silk shirts and leather pants. <laughs> you know what I mean? My rap wore denim and Nikes. And my, you know, my kids' raps wear tight pants and loose pants. And, but it is, I'm, I'm here to tell black kids. You don't have to get so locked into a box that that box identifies the entirety of you. If you're in Walmart and you buy a Led Zeppelin t-shirt, just go listen to some of the songs. I promise it'll change your life because it changed my life when my dad played Zeppelin for me. For me, it's just a matter of it's nice to meet you. If you don't know who I am, it's nice to meet you. I'm going to out-rap whoever you like. You know what I mean? (laughs) And I'm going to bust ass on the microphone. And I'm going to give you something that deeply is personal because 
if you 21, 22 years old, you the same age as my child. At 22, I already had two children. Yeah. I was a drug dealer. I was a rapper. I had dropped out of the most prestigious black men college in the world. So my life story and seasoning may be of interest to you because I don't want you to make the same mistakes. And some of the accomplishments and goals I reached by the time I was 27. So my thing is, I'm not trying to unk you, the little boy you. I'm not trying to big bro you, the little homie you. I'm simply offering the wisdom that I have so that you may not suffer the pains that I suffered for that wisdom. That's it. And if you don't want it, cool. I still want <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, check out that whole conversation with Killer Mike. Uh, available on Apple Music. You can go check it out. And um, before we wrap, we got a shout out to Lotto, who dropped Sunday service, taking shots back at Ice Spice, who dropped uh, you, you, ain't, yeah, the, you ain't the, the shit, the you fart. ain't even a fart. Which, you know, it's childish. But one of the things I, I like about Ice Spice, whether you are into her or not, yeah. is the fact that she ain't trying to be nothing but herself. Matter of fact, in the song, she's like, yo, I'm too pretty to fight. And if you're from the hood, especially in New York, there's these girls that grow up in the hood that aren't allowed to go outside because it's too, too rough outside. <laughs> Ice Spice is that girl. Like, she's literally that girl on the block who everybody's like, yo, Why where's, what's her name? Oh, nah, grandma won't let her come outside. <laughs> and now she's a rapper hanging out with Taylor Swift. And that's Ice Spice. Yo. So Lotto, Lotto fires back talking all this greasy talk. And, and, and Ice Spice is like, you ugly. And I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, they ain't. No, they ain't. You know, I feel so different about men beef than I do about this particular beef. Yeah. Remember when Jonathan Majors hopped out the car and he tried to stop those two people from fighting? That's how I am. I was like, nah, nah, nah. Y'all need to get along. I need <laughs> listen, to see y'all videos yo, together. Listen. Like, no, don't Rap do this to me, y'all. Mm -mm. Nah, this is a sport. This is a sport. Yeah, man. And, I just, and then if you want to talk your shit, talk your shit. Pop your you shit. You have all uh, the right to talk your shit. And, and, it's, and Lo, let me ask you, is this all just because Lotto and Nicki was beefing and then it kind of spilled over in Ice Spice? Or I don't, was there I don't, a, I don't know. a direct I don't know. shot that Lotto took that required Ice? Like, I don't get it. I don't know if it's that. I don't know. Like, because, you know, women are petty, right? So they'll look at one thing and take it to another to send a third. So I don't know where the, the actual root of their, their shit is. But I do know that Lotto is with all the smoke. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lotto is with all yeah, the smoke. Yeah, yeah. So if yeah. Ice Spice is going to continue to engage, Lotto ain't going to stop. Nah, Lotto, just, that's, Lotto that, that's the one that's going to spin. Yo, and Sunday service is fire. Fire. So Lotto, like Ice, if you're going to do this, just know who you fucking with because Lotto ain't no slouch. I'll volunteer to mediate. Just put oh, me in a room. Let, let us thirsty. Let him fight. Yeah. Put, Look at this thirsty. Put me in a room with both of them. Let me get in between y'all. Let's yeah, set up yeah, an interview. Yeah. 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 Shut up and let them yeah. ride. Let, let me help them both out. Get out of here, man. You've been out in Las Vegas too yeah, long, man. Nah. What's up? Nadeska here, and if you enjoyed this episode of the Rap Life Review, you can catch me here every week with Loki and Ebro. Subscribe, hit the like button, make sure you never miss an episode, and of course, drop us a comment below, and we'll see you next time on the Rap Life Review.